I am shopping at Walmart. Walmart. What am I shopping for? Well, a lot of upgrades. I uh, just ordered a gas generator on Amazon, which is why I had to buy this. I'm gonna keep the gas generator in the cargo box. Run plugs to it when I need it because I don't want to freeze when I'm on the road this winter. And funny enough, right after that, I got a message from Jackery. You know, I'm big on Jackery. And they're going to sponsor us. Yay for us. And they're sending out a thousand, a Jackery 1000 Pro with solar panels and all kinds of crap, which is crazy. And that's awesome. And there's a bunch of other... There's a refrigerator place that might want to sponsor us. There's a, a grill, a little portable grill place that might want to sponsor us. Plus, Autel Robotics with the drones uh, should be sending any week now a uh, brand new drone for us since we destroyed the other one. So these are uh, all good things. <laughs> also, I found cool, uh, what is it? Mint Chill Dude Wipes. I hear that they make you tingle down under <laughs> when you use them. And there's all kinds of crap in here, mostly house stuff, but. Um, so we'll have the new Jackery pretty soon. We'll have the new generator pretty soon. I, I just ordered a new bed, a uh, bigger one, thicker one than what I have, more reliable one. Uh, so I can't wait till that gets here and it's all coming this week. I ordered a new, some camera stuff. Uh, I'm still not rich, but um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> You got to get what you got to get. And um, if I can sleep better at night and be nice and toasty, and that generator could probably, it's a small one, but it could probably do a nice little small air conditioner or whatever. Um, it's time to upgrade. Hey everybody, this is Brandon Bishop, the executive producer for Asai TV, which has put me on a never-ending road, living the van life, heading to every corner of the nation filming awesome television. On this show, you'll see what it takes to run an independent streaming television network. You'll join me for life at home and on the road, and hopefully plan your own adventures. I'm Brandon Bishop, and this is is the Asai TV life. I have not done a whole lot of filming for you lately because A, I'm way ahead of like where I'm at in real life right now. I think I'm like a month, maybe more, like ahead. And that's good, but I don't want to be too far ahead to where like it doesn't even matter anymore. Um, like at the time I'm filming this, it's I think right now airing is the uh, Florida stuff and I've done two trips since then so I'm just kind of easing back a little bit not a whole lot going on just um, oh what is that oh it's already passed an RV camper show okay take your damn sign down you got me excited but I've not done a whole lot uh, just super ultra mega con stuff side TV sitting at my desk editing if you really want me to film myself editing in my underwear at my desk with my hair looking even weirder than it does right now that'll be fixed hopefully soon uh, then put it in the comments that that's what you that's what you need in your life I don't think you do I really don't want to do that but I'll do whatever it takes to please you people so up here somewhere kind of by where Kilroy's is at like really close to where Kilroy's is at, is a place called Van City RV. How do I not know about this? That's first of all the question I have. Secondly, where the hell is it? What on earth? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Okay. Where do you park? What have I just found? Holy crap. People arguing in there, which is funny, but look at this. Can I look at these? I mean, <laughs> look at that, which I love very much. And then, oh, this is bad and good. 
goodness. I don't want anything with a slide. I don't want any class B pluses, no class C's anymore. Not right now. But this, oh no, this one's open. What is this? Oh, it's on a Ford Transit, of course. No, it's a Sprinter. I like Ford Transits better. Sprinters are way too expensive, but we can looky-loo, right? Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> I, mean, I would live in this full time. Yeah, I'm saying it now. I, I like a dedicated bed. That's my only problem. I don't. This isn't very comfortable to me. I mean, it's more comfortable than my van, but if I'm living in it full time, then uh, I would like a dedicated bed. But I know this can make a bed. I can just put a mattress on there, whatever. Nice. Porcelain toilet. This is <laughs> really nice. <laughs> uh, I'm sure this is, a, I'm going to make a guess. 180,000. Let's see. Oh, 190,000, not bad. Oh, this is way different. That door is way bigger than mine. Okay. Whoa, okay now, hang on, hang on. It's on a Dodge Promaster. 173,000 MSRP. It's got a much bigger fridge with a freezer. Confection oven. Look at these little doors. These are awesome. It's got a wet bath. You just sit down. You can poop and shower at the same time, which is great. I'm in on that. A little sink over here, which is also, I believe, your shower. Okay, look, but look at all this room in the back. Oh, look at this. Made great room. Use of storage right there. Still a lot of uh, overhead bins. Here's all your important stuff, which I love that it's hidden because you don't have to look at it. A lot of storage. It's a ladder on the back, so something's going back. I'm sure you, there's a table that goes right here. And then you have these lips where you put the rest of the bed on. This is, okay, this is very doable for me. I like this. That says you're home to me, but... You gotta, I, mean, I drive for 12 hours at a time sometimes, and for some reason, this is just not comfortable. I just don't like ProMasters. I don't like the way they feel when you're driving. I just don't. Okay, this is on a Ford chassis. Oh, what on earth? What is this? <laughs> okay, it's on a Ford chassis, first of all. But these seats are incredibly comfortable. And you got the same little thing you can fold out into a bed right here. So there's one bed. But that'll fit me. I like these little cubby holes. I don't know what I'd do with them, but I, I, any kind of storage like this is so smart. Just using that for a little storage spot. The hooks are smart. Same fridge, same, uh, same layout. But look at this. What? It's like a lounge. Oh, my God. Oh, don't tell me that's a Murphy bed on top of everything. What? Oh, no. What? Okay, it's a east to west. You're kidding. Oh, there's so much space. Okay, now this is the one. I like the other one that has three beds. But this is badass. You can just flip it up and you got a sectional couch. It's got the big Ford. Oh, look, little USBs and 12 volts and stuff everywhere. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I, I'm in love with this vehicle. Hmm. Just great. Leisure travel vans. Oh, it's the Leisure Wonder. Made in Canada. Good job, Canada. Okay, walk away. Walk away. Run away, run, run away. All right, so I need to make $250,000 <laughs> at the Super Ultra Mega Con. <laughs> That's personal, not just overhead. Or, you know, what I pay other people. I need to take home, which means we probably have to make a million dollars so I can go buy that leisure wonder. Oh my goodness. I love my little van. I do. I love this little van. 
so much. But much like every relationship, eventually, we're gonna have to part ways and, you know, <laughs> that is a full-time gig right there, man. That is, if I get that, eventually, I'll be living in it. All right, spent a bunch of money, did a bunch of running around. I wanna treat myself and eat myself. Made some hot mustard, katsu sauce. Oh, Kahlua pork. Oh, with the, oh yeah. And oh yeah, chicken. <laughs> ah! See, I got a mattress. It's wider, better. But it's not the right one that was that I thought I had ordered. It's probably my fault. The only problem now is I got to take it back to uh, Kohl's to return it to Amazon, and I cannot roll this some bitch back up. It is very much expanded, and yeah. Shocker. So because my mom has like the whole Prime thing, which I thought I did. I mean, I, I watch Amazon Prime. I, I don't know. But anyways, I order enough stuff from Amazon, trust me. But uh, my mom's awesome. And uh, they gave her this mattress for free. Like they gave her, her the money back. And because she orders all my stuff for her and then I make payments or I pay her off. Um, but they didn't, I, I brought this to Amazon, to, to Kohl's to return it, but I don't have to return it now, it's free. So maybe I'll put that one on top of the new mattress. We found a better, sturdier one. And uh, I'm excited about that because it's like has springs and stuff in it. And it's a narrow twin, which is this size. And this size fits perfect in the back. So I can put this on top of that one and sleep like a mother freaking king. Uh, no, I need a king mattress to do that, but I will sleep like a baby in my little narrow twin. <sighs> table you, you dropped the bomb on me baby all right r and r tire you better be nice to me better be nice to me so yeah r and r tire they're kind of like the rent a center or errands of uh tire shops it's almost like a thousand dollars for four falcon tires you know what falcon tires are they're not the best tires um so, <laughs> um, nice people though, really cool people. Maybe we can work out some kind of a deal, sponsorship. I don't know, I've, I always ask everybody that because if you don't ask, then you'll never know. Um, the word no doesn't hurt me at all. All right, this is turning into a tire challenge. I've been to Big O Tires and uh, am I just out of date to where I'm thinking tires aren't as cheap as they used to be. Is this like the supply chain type of thing? Because they wanted like $800. The last place, and those are for better tires than the last place, the last place was like over a thousand. So I'm taking all these little quotes and I'm gonna stop at Pep Boys and Discount Tire and see uh, if they can beat these because come on, man, I'm not spending 800 bucks on tires. I, I, it's not that I can't, it's just that I can't stomach it. It's like, <sighs> I've never been to a Pet Boys. Like seriously, I don't even know what they have, what Pet Boys is. All right. He said there were like three something, three and then four on the driver's rear. Apparently this is my best tire. <laughs> $700. And that's buy three, get one free. No, it's not. Okay. Let's get a discount. What do you say? A discount, a real discount. So as you can see, I'm walking because the van is going to be getting new tires today. Discount tire wins 500 bucks on the dot with a new windshield wiper blade. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's exactly what I was hoping to spend. And uh, they said it'll be done in about a half an hour, but I can't just sit down for a half an hour. Are you kidding me? That's, that's like torture for me. 
There's a little taco stand over there. But instead, I'm going to this very unpopulated at home, home decor superstore. There are like five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cars in this parking lot <laughs> for this giant store. That's craziness. The reason I'm not going to said taco shop is because I have to be up in Detroit in two weeks and I am not in the best shape and I'm a little pissed off about it. And when you're out of shape and you're sucking wind and you're chubby on the road in the van, it just sucks so much. I'm gonna try to lose at least 15 pounds in the next two weeks. I've got chicken that I cooked at home. I'm gonna put that in my face. And that is it, man. That's my one meal of the day. I'm going to extremes for the next two weeks. And uh, I'm gonna walk, go to the gym, and lose this weight so I'm not such a piece of crap in the van. And I don't want my mom to see me like that either, so it is what it is. Hello. It smells good in here. Ooh, Halloween-y stuff. I didn't know they had all this. It's awesome. Wow, they already got me in there. I feel bad for the terrible music they're playing, but it's whatever. I don't have to be here. <laughs> Look at them working so hard. That's right, you put those tires on my van. All right, trying on my new tires. It's like a new pair of shoes. Just pimped my ride. Is that what the kids say? Do they still say that? Or was that like 20 years ago? I don't know. Don't know, don't care. Let me hit some bumps to see how loud it is. These tires have a four out of five rating for quietness. I will be the judge of that. My last tires were really loud, so. Here's a bump, here's a bump. Oh, nice. Better than they were. It's driving straight. This is good. Spending money is exhausting. <laughs> yes, I agree, Kitty. I agree, wherever you're at. Where are you? Your meowing reverberates throughout our tiny little home. So yeah, new tires, next is new brakes. It's whatever, man. Money in, money out, right? And if you ever wondered what happened to that shirt with the avocado and a slice of salmon that I bought at Unclaimed Baggage in Scottsboro, Alabama, well, hello. You like it, kitty? I thought so. Chicken and a Starbucks egg bite. It's all I'm eating for the next two weeks. You know what drives me crazy? It's when you are uh, waiting for packages and they say they're going to be here at a certain day, a certain time, and then everything changes. So I was supposed to get these packages like Monday? All of a sudden, they're going to be here today. But today, I have stuff to do. I can't sit here like I did yesterday all day. I'm waiting on one, two, three, four, five packages today. One is my generator. Uh, one is a little odds and ends stuff. And one is like a new uh, luggage thing. And a bunch of stuff I've been holding off on buying. And I just said, hell with it. I'm going to get it. But it's all coming today. And then I have a bed, a new bed coming tomorrow. I have a very busy weekend and I'm just sitting here now and I'm like, I hate it when they change dates and times. I hate it. So any minute for this one. This one now says by the end of the day, Okay. It did say three o'clock. So now it says by the end of the day. <laughs> now this one says by 8 p.m. Okay, so everything's coming FedEx. Why won't it all come at the same time? It makes no sense. Also, this, that is not what I ordered. I did not order that. I ordered not this. I ordered this. Like I already have. So maybe the right thing will come, maybe it won't. 
So I had to take back stuff yesterday, and it looks like I might be taking back stuff today. Ugh. While I'm endlessly waiting for both FedEx, UP, uh, FedEx and Amazon. I wanted to see if this bed fit, and <clears throat> upon initial viewing, it looks like it fits really well. Now, I have another bed coming. They gave us this one, basically. They said, uh, I tried to return it, and they were like, um, no, just keep it. I guess that's what happens when you open a mattress. I'm not saying do that. <laughs> it may not work for you, but it worked for me. Hooray. Um... I swear, man, I get more people offering me business loans. I think I looked at one like two years ago. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the existing stuff that I have. And this fits perfect. Yeah, this is way, way better. Oh, my goodness. Seven stops away. I just bought a bunch of these. I didn't know they had them at Walmart. So uh, now I have these for, for days and days. Okay. Wow. These are not as advertised. These are tiny. What the hell? No wonder they were so cheap. Sweet. It is the right product. Makes me happy. I know you're thinking, Brandon, don't you have one of these already? And yes, I do. It is right here, buried in cat toys and lighting stands. But I wanted another one. Plus, the other one just broke off on the bottom of it. And their customer service is terrible. So, I've <laughs> been trying to get that fixed or replaced and never did. So, screw it. I'm gonna buy a new one. A little pack of two of these flashlights. They're actually really cool. I mean, what you do is you just, they got magnets. You stick them on the side of the van, whatever. A little lower setting. Oh, it's got a front setting. These are kind of cool, man. Must get rid of all the Trumpers. <laughs> get rid of the Trumpers. Uh, I don't care about Democrat, Republican, Libertarian. I don't care what you are. But if you're a Trumper... Off to the Norris Penrose Event Center to go meet, for many reasons, to meet my friend Caitlin, who works at the event center. I'm doing my event at in a couple months a couple months yeah. um also to possibly poach a couple vendors if there's anybody there i don't want guns and stuff but you never know what else could be there and three to look around for some security stuff a little weaponage if you might uh, say <laughs> doing the comic-con my, my event there but no oh yeah <laughs> it's definitely that kind of crowd one day on paper in person hand count let's go brandon well thank you i appreciate the support and the uh, encouragement you dumbass <laughs> well i already see a couple rebel flags good looking show though lots of uh lots of bang bangs if I, if I buy anything, it'll be a small handgun on a $300 mark, some pepper spray, maybe some self-defense stuff. I don't know. I'm not much yeah, of a sure gun, cool. insane gun nut, but it's still fun to look at. I have done several events in here. I can't remember what any of them are, though. <laughs> like some Halloween brew fest. Who needs that? And then in the full-on position, it's ready to go. And there's your trigger. And that goes all the way. I can feel a little zappage over here by the phone. It's, it's very uh, powerful. And it, like I said, even even in here, it'll get you. What's the zap watts on that one? These are 4.7 milliamps. So where have you taken me, Caitlin? Yeah. Where am I taking you? Uh, what is this? What are, why, why am I in this? <laughs> what have you done to me? I'm buying what? I have two weapons already. <laughs> Brass knuckle. Look at these little bat this guys. These little bat guys are cool. I've been marked. That's very uh, 
cultish. Kind of is. These are nice. Ooh, military clothing. Seriously, what was right there? Is that Evanston? I don't remember what was there. No, that's my little bus. My little, uh, I think that was my Gatlinburg bus. Well, that really sucks. So it says my packages have not arrived yet, so I might get home in time to actually uh, be there for them. That would be awesome. My neighbor is watching out, though. So if you're wondering what that was all about, this guy has a long trailer in his crappy truck, and I was right next to the trailer, and he starts swerving into my lane, like literally to the point where I had to get into the turn lane while I'm driving, and I honk my horn at him, and immediately he plays the victim. You're, what? <laughs> You're not the victim here, buddy. I mean, I'm not the victim either. I just had to get out of your way because you're a shit driver. And he immediately, I do Bert the third is redneck, trashy, garbage, dirty, dank looking idiot and his gross wife. No offense to how you look, but this is what I first saw. That's my opinions. Ah, I'm right next to you. You almost ran me into oncoming traffic is what I'm saying. If there would have been a car coming this way, I would have hit them to get out of your way because you're a shit driver and immediately you're oh, dude, I didn't do nothing. I didn't pick the dirt of Trump. Oh, I hate people. I don't get this around the country. It's mainly here in Colorado. They have the worst, most asshole entitled drivers in the country that I'm aware of. I'm sure it's worse in India, but oh my God, dude, what is your problem? All you gotta do is say, hey man, I'm sorry. That's what I do if I swerve. I make mistakes. You just go, dude, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't see you, my bad, whatever. <laughs> always the victim, aren't you people? You're always, I can't do nothing wrong. I'm the victim, oh, you must have did very dear. So FedEx never came. I waited in my van for two and a half hours, parked out front of this apartment building, looking like a creeper. Um, it said it would be here by eight and no. So I have them taking that to, uh, have to pick it up at Walgreens of all places tomorrow. Plus I have the bed coming tomorrow. Plus I have a new camera bag coming tomorrow. And I just got confirmation that Jackery is sending my brand new Jackery battery, 1000 Pro with solar panels. It's like three or $4,000 unit that they are uh, sponsoring this Asai TV live show and Asai TV in general. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of work making them super, super happy with uh, their decision to sponsor me. And I'm uh, so excited about it. It's like our first not my first sponsorship, but it's my first like one for this stuff. Let me give a little shout out to FedEx and UPS, and it's not a good one. So it's 10 o'clock the next day, and I'm, I woke up to messages that the packages I was waiting on last night have been moved to Monday, today's Saturday, and I have to pick them up at a Walgreens. Okay, cool. But... Uh, UPS is supposed to be sending my bed today, my new bed, and it says the same garbage, this whole between 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock thing. Dude, I can't, what human can sit around for 24 hours waiting on a package? First of all, that didn't come yesterday, I wasted all that time. And uh, also my Jackery is supposed to be here today. Three big boxes it says. Win. So as you can tell, I left, and I'm at this uh, pretty cool looking event. Looks pretty awesome, actually. I left, and as I was walking out, I saw a little sticker on the door. So as I was talking to FedEx, with no notification or no anything, FedEx came with my Jackeries, 
and left. Nothing but a sticker. I'm just done with it today, so let's get some work done. I have passed out business cards to every single vendor, and uh, I'm exhausted now. And I had to eat tacos because that's all they had. It wasn't too bad, though. <sighs> but this is like the Christmassy thing. And uh, yeah, every vendor has my card, so I have their card. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Hey, it's my two favorite people right here. I like both of you so much, and now you know each other, so. I just wanna hang out with you guys all day, every day. All right, so I got that done. <sighs> I'm worn out. I walked like five miles in there, which may not seem like a lot, but it was at a pretty high pace. <laughs> Yeah, this is an okay event. Cool vendors, met a lot. I have a satchel of about 200 vendors in my pocket right now. And I passed out almost 300 cards. Whew. So not a good start to the day, but I love getting stuff like this done. So I'm at Walgreens trying to pick up a package. I don't know which one it is. There's just nobody at the photo department. Like every turn I've made trying to get my packages has led me into a very a long, annoying brick wall. That's me. Literally been seven minutes, eight minutes. I know that's not long, right? No, it is. <laughs> I'm very impatient. Going on, ready? 18 minutes, standing and listening to things beep. You better not go to the cosmetic department first. Be a little pissed off. One of these boxes, I don't even know what I'm picking up to be honest, I think it's the generator. I'm hoping it is. There's other stuff too. 25 minutes. It's insane, dude. There's people, it's not busy. I know what you're thinking. Brandon, there's people in Ukraine trying to get out of the country and they're waiting days. No food, no shelter, no bathroom, nothing. And I agree, that's terrible. But this is also terrible. So somebody helped me. But my package is not here, even though FedEx says it's here. <sighs> So this is the only thing they had. It's my stupid vacuum. The least, least thing that I really wanted to get. There's supposed to be another package here, but it's not. Even though they said it was delivered. So yeah, we're going on about 38 minutes. So the bed is exactly what I wanted. Thankfully, something went right today. The bed came on time. Awesome, it's got springs in it. It's freaking comfortable as hell, it's firm. I needed this, I needed this for the van, it's a perfect size. I should have my Jackery right now, that came and went. No idea when that's, if it's being attempted to be delivered tonight or not, I have no idea. I don't know anything right now about any of this other the generator. I'm missing two other packages. This says everything's either at Walgreens or on the truck. So I'm gonna calm my ass down about these quiches at the uh, place I was just at. So I'm gonna put those in my face, relax, and hope everything else just works itself out because I'm done messing with it. Done, done. This is as pissed as I've been in years. Don't enjoy it. So this is fun. I mean, this new mattress is awesome. I can't believe I got that dirty already. Of course I did. But putting this one on top, I just don't know. I gotta see if I can even fit in there. Oh, as far as comfort, oh, I'm like right at the ceiling, like it's, that's just too much. I gotta take one of these out. Okay, I took that one off and just put the, uh, see this has springs in it and it's actually really, oh, really comfortable. So I think I'm just gonna go with this one. This is a freebie if anybody wants it. Maybe I'll put it, I don't know, in my butt. I have no idea where to put this thing now. Definitely no room in the van. It's 8 a.m. And I'm out in the van waiting for my Jackery. 
which will be on a FedEx truck. Well, I'm sick of saying the words FedEx at this point. And it still says by end of day. What does that even mean? Midnight? Like 11.59 AM, uh, PM? Is that? I don't want to stay out here for 12 hours. But if I have to, I will. Because I really want to get that package. And these dipshits at my building here uh, lock the front doors. And the dipshits at FedEx uh, don't send you notifications, so I could be sitting on my couch and they come and go like they did yesterday. So yeah, we're living the van life in my parking lot. <laughs> Uh, I've been out here for an hour and a half now. I have a bad feeling that this package isn't going to come to like well into darkness, well into the night, and I'll just have spent the entire day here in my van. Then I got a feeling I'll go up and take a poop or something, and that's when the packages will come. So I did have an Amazon package coming today, and look! I knew when it was coming, I knew how far away they were, and they came on time. Wow! Isn't that great? I don't even remember what the hell this package was, but I know what it is. But isn't that insane, FedEx, that like, Amazon can do this, and I'm gonna put you up here. So wasn't it insane, Amazon, that, like, and this is just a ski mask. I don't care about this that much. But if I had ordered all the other stuff, which I ordered the generator that's coming. I ordered that on Amazon, but they decided to ship it FedEx for some freaking stupid reason. He takes seven cents a share, he turns it into a million bucks. This is nice. I like these when you're cold, but I, oh my God, it's plastic though. It's like getting me high right now. Oof. But they're not very ventilated, you know, like normal. Oh, dude, I don't know if I can wear it. I'm going to have to wash it. Oh. It just smells like toxic plastic. But anyways, it's got a little vent vent ventilation right here, and it still keeps you warm. So I literally got all excited and jumped out of the van. Door still open back there. Because I saw a FedEx truck drive right by and then take a left. I know I got to be on that truck. Smoke too soon. Look at that. I don't know why the solar panels are heavier than the battery. But holy crap. Oh, I can smile again. I can live my life. Oh, Jackery. I had no idea what you just sent me. Each, I have four of these solar panels. Each one of them has 200 watts. That's 800 watts of power from the sun. Oh, my mom's calling. Okay. Oh, she's FaceTiming. Let's do this. Hello. Ew. How are you? I am fine. How are you? Everything ain't gonna, it's not, none of it's going to be here now until Wednesday evening or something. Oh, I'm totally kidding. It's a, uh, I'm, it's all right here. <laughs> oh. There's the generator. Showing my mom around. There's the jackery underneath it. And here's the 800 watts of solar panels. They sent me four solar panels, each 200 watts. That's insane. Oh, this is so heavy. I think it's like 60 pounds. Look at this son of a bitch compared to the size of my head. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Look at these new cords. Look at that. It's got like the regular computer plug-in now, I think. Yes. Awesome. That means plugs are way easier to get than they had been. And that is a thousand watts of power right there. The thousand pro it's got the new handle on it, which folds down like that a table. If you need to, whatever, this is just incredible. Let me give you some more light and I'll do a proper one of these. This is just for you. But look at this. It's got 22. Oh, the lights on my bad. Turn 
turn that off. It's got a light on it. Uh, the indicator looks a little upgraded, but very similar. Here's your uh, 12 volt. And if you don't know how to use a Jackery, you basically just hit the button next to it. Say you want to use one of these plugs, you turn them on. Boom, there it is. You want to use, uh, they got the US, oh, they got the USB-Cs. I just bought all those damn converters for my cords. I don't even need them. I can just plug it right into here. You want to use the USBs? Boom, you turn it on. Simple as that. And when you want, don't want to use them, you turn them off. Oh, this is awesome. All the plugs are in the back. The solar is in the back. And let's talk about these solar panels real quick. This right here is a 200 watt. And again, we're going to do a full thing on these. 200 watts of solar power right here. 200 watts. Just this one. But did they send me just that one? <laughs> no. I haven't opened them yet, but I have another one right here. That's 400 watts. And then you see that little box right there? That big box, actually, a really heavy box? There's two more of them in there. 800 watts. Ugh. All right, plugged it in. Starting off at 22%. That's what it came. 700 and is that really that's what wow that's a lot of uh that's a lot of juice right there that it's taken in 760 watts that's pretty crazy this thing is supposed to like on a wall plug like it's plugged into my son's room here um it's supposed to fully charge in like i think an hour two hours or something like that which is nuts so i'm excited to uh see how quick this thing charges up and it's not going to take long with uh, maybe one and a half hours, I think is what it's telling me. I think that's what that stands for. I got a lot of research to do. But yeah, full Jackery battery, promotional reviews, all that stuff. Many of them coming at you. So I went to the store to buy a turkey and some Starbucks egg bites and see where we're at. I think it's charged. Oh yeah, 100%. Look at that. Less than an hour. How about an hour, probably? That was, that's awesome, dude. It's gonna <laughs> make van life a whole lot easier. And now I'm gonna let you go. This has not been an eventful. This has been me bitching about FedEx and being happy about Jackery. So I'm gonna leave you with some happiness right here. Marcy, hey, why do you stink? Did you pee on yourself or something? Okay, maybe it's not so happy, but Marcy, you got the last word for this episode. What do you got?